Oh my God, I hear a lot of noise. You guys got it out already? I thought this would be like a huge process. Okay, so George is gonna be pressure washing it. Ah! George is always crashing noises. Opa! Okay. Stop! Are you gonna do it again? The neighbors are gonna be like, what the hell is happening? All right, put them in the sink. We'll put them in the dishwasher. This cage is outside already. I brought this up so you can have more soap. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. George is pressure washing the cage. You want a knife? What kind of knife? You want the Cutco scissors? The Cutco scissors. <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed, but this vlog contains like three different phones. What? You can't go outside because you're gonna get all wet. You can't go out there. And then this one always wants to go outside. Okay guys, the birds have started screaming, like calling because they want some attention. I had to leave them in here while George pressure washed the cage because in case they panicked, I want them to know that they have something familiar around. So although if these were new birds, I would take them away from their territory and train them. I still want them to know that something familiar has come with them, so it's not 100% change. Okay, so I think George is done pressure washing the cage. I heard him come in. In the meantime, here's why I wear a robe. It's relevant. First of all, I'm always cold, but second of all, so much more comfortable to carry the birds on. Third of all, if they do have any accident on me, any kind of potty or anything, which they actually really rarely ever do ever 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 it's so easy to come off it like doesn't stick because it just like stands on the fibers of the robe okay I don't think he's done oh wow okay so he's done with this part but he's pressure washing all the pieces inside it looks like he washed all the toys it's probably about 10 or 11 at night. I may be way off on that, it could be earlier. But I actually started watching ant videos at 7.30 this morning. Yes, thank you Mikey uh, Bustos for commenting on my page. Now I'm watching ants. I don't know what time it is. Okay, so it's actually 9.40 p.m. And I realized it's the birds' bedtime, so I'm gonna get them ready for bed while George finishes pressure washing. Thank you, Rocky. He's watching TV, I don't know why he's, oh, the TV's not on. I'm coming. So when he's done with that, I can focus just on those two birds and not worry about like any crossing of anything. Now George is doing an antibacterial scrub. Bird safe. I'm sure that's an odd photo. Might as well just come out. That cage is shaping up though. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Yeah. Okay, who did this? Who did that? You. Ugh, Rocky's show is still not on. We gotta get Rocky his show. Okay, are you ready for bed? George is doing the second round of pressure washing after he soaked down and scrubbed the cage. It's probably 10.30 now. Maybe 10.15. Takes us about half an hour to get them all ready for bed. I don't know if you hear all the crunching behind me, but that's them all eating. <laughs> I'm getting all these toys. I'm gonna put them in the dishwasher. Yeah. I cleared the dishwasher, so. Oh, there's one more toy that's very important because they use it to step up. But it's clean now. It needs to dry. Okay. Uh, you might wanna get a towel or something or just let it dry. Okay. In the daytime would be better, actually. Yeah. Is it dry? I think it's fine. Okay, good. Good news, look. We have one more of these. It was like perfect, I found it hiding. For those of you that don't know what this is, this is what I line the cage with. It's like my favorite, amazing, perfect thing. You can put them anywhere, the bottom of the cage, under the cage, inside the cage, whatever. We're gonna put them in the cage right now. What's your problem? You know what I heard? That people like to see your crankiness. Yeah. Uh-huh, heard that today. Did you? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this like this, I think. 
and put it in their cage. So I could have one for the top and one for the bottom. You want to put it inside or do you want to put it? I want to put it inside. If they're good with inside and they don't tear it up, then I love that. Then the bars won't get dirty. Some of our birds have to have it under under. In the trunk of my car, she had given me food and stuff, but I feel like we should just give them no, the give food, them our, food. our food right away. I think I saw like I didn't see exactly, but I did see a lot of sunflower seeds in there. Yeah, so yeah, we'll get used to doing anything that we get to now, so it's fine. That one's ready to go already. You can put pellets. I'll put food in there. I think I'll put some pellets in there too. Yeah, give him some of the Tom's food too. <laughs> Tom's food? Yeah. Where the hell is Tom's food? What is that? Tops? Tops. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is good. The Topps food? Yeah. Yeah. This is so good. They're either gonna be like, dang, this house is healthy. Her house has been gluten-free for 27 years. Really? Yeah. She had a beautiful house. It's very clean, very beautiful, everything. So what's wrong? She's just sick. She doesn't know what's wrong. That's why she's panicked. I guess what happened is she gives the birds so much, like, love that she she can't, like she's a good bird person, so she... She had another animal? She had uh, budgies. But I know these naughty birds. I see you! Ah. Hi guys! They're now calling, they wanna come out. Hey guys. I got one. Girl, I'll show you. Hi guys! Oh, this is the girl. Let me see. This one. That's the boy. How do you know? His face looks like a boy. <laughs> that one looks like a girl. Let me see. Am I right? Yep. So, who do you want to see? He's got take? a bigger nose, too. A bigger beak? <laughs> <laughs> Look at George's artwork. Go on. Hi there. Hello. Hello. Hi. That's Nelly. Hi, Nelly. Oh, you're pretty. Oh, she's a sweetheart. Yeah. Yeah. She like lets you touch her beak and everything. Mm hmm Hi, Nelly. Hi. Sweet, sweet girl, Nelly. How you doing, sweetie? Mm. Look at him. Let him out. Oh, he's jealous. Okay, you I'm wanna give me Nelly? Nelly? Step up. There you go. Let's get your friend out. Are they really friends? Yep. Come here, buddy. What happened to his toe? She ate it. She ate it? Come she here, bit buddy. his toe one day. Hello there. Oh, he's doing a... He's kind of doing a Picasso. See how he did with his face? Ooh, that, it's okay. He's in shock. She looks smart. He's a little worried. It's okay, buddy. Hey. Nelly's liking that. Wanna step up? It looks like his nail wants to grow out, though. <laughs> I told you that. I don't know. You can see it. It's got a piece left. She's tired. What did she do to you? She ate your nail? She took a bite out of him? Yeah. Because he wasn't listening, huh? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> you, you were being stupid, huh? <laughs> it happens to all of us. <laughs> oh, Monty. <laughs> Oh, you Why like is my it? Face all black? What's happening? You're letting me pet her. She's a good baby. Oh, you guys are sweet. They are sweet, right? You are two sweet birds. I went in for too soon. Too soon. I'm gonna make up all over my face. Oh, my so she has a stance that's a little more forward. Do you see that? Yeah, and he has a little he stretch stands, out there. Yeah, he stands tall with his big nostrils. And his big eyes. He has big eyes. So this is me and Nelly. Yeah, you look like a boy. He likes you.
They're very trusting birds. I'm telling you, she was really good with them. Where'd she get them? She got them from somebody who had them, I think what she said is they might be eight or nine years old. And then she got them from somebody that had them for three years and they were so ignored that that's why this one says Nelly neglected, clear as day. That's like the only thing she says. The neglected Nelly. They could be two characters in us. I know, I know. Mm -mm, no more birds for us. But they could be still. No, we can't. We don't have the it's resources for them. Because they're like birds. little twins, so like they're like a teamsters. You know? Stop, your fans are something. You want every bird. You never know. They might be cute. They are cute. All birds are cute. Yeah. Wow, you guys are really bonding. Why was I like that with you? No, I don't know. I didn't. Here's the thing. I didn't want to be the person to put them in there because I didn't want them to associate me with going in there. Do you know what I mean? She did, but then I actually needed to help one of them. I, I helped get him in there. Do you think he'll let me get some too? Maybe. Okay, guys, so here's what's going on. If he's bonding that well with Morty, or Monty. Monty, if he is bonding that well with Monty, then he has to give me Monty, and we have to switch equally so that Monty doesn't just only trust George. So that's an important example of socialization. So, okay. So with birds, even though you're like really at it and they love it, then when you rest your hand and come back out too fast, any That's movement. That's not what I did. Okay. What I did is I was reaching for his tail because I wanted to grab his tail. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Well, you're making new moves already. Yeah. You can't be making new moves already. We kind of move fast over here. Can I get a sniff or like no? Are you a shoulder bird? Are you knocking or kissing? So Jenna has no idea that I have these birds. What were you thinking when I came home in, with that cage? I kind of figured you were bringing the birds. I didn't think that you'd go with Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll go with anyone if I need but to But I guess get Tracy is the muscle man. Oh yeah, so new movements are... That's why you gotta get comfortable when working with a new bird. Like, this floor is not comfortable for me right now. He just stands so tall. He needs a little bit of featherific though. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his feathers. Yeah. You're okay. It's you should see his face though. Did you see how he stretched his head? Yeah. You're okay. You're okay. So here's what happened. Your mommy's a little sick, but she loves you. Okay? And I'm gonna love you. And no matter what happens, you're gonna go somewhere where somebody loves you. And you're not gonna get separated from your girlfriend, so don't you worry. Alright? Now, does he understand English, or do we need to say it in a different language? No, he understands English. What language did she speak? English. Can I pet you? Like George did? So never come fast around their face. Just so that they see. Okay. You're already trying for that, huh? I just try. Hey there. He's coming down. Hey. Oh, his eyes are getting beady. What's happening? What's happening? Oh, he's liking, he's liking this from you. <whistles> he's pretty. He is. He, he seems like he's plucking, though. He might have been nervous because he knows there's changes in his house. Or maybe he knows that there's something wrong with his owner. Oh, they're Dude. talking to each other. Yeah. He's like, how you doing? Are you guys hungry? Oh, you're hungry. Hungry? Let's give him some food. Num num? Num num? Num num? Num num? <laughs> Don't go for his teeth. She wants food from him. You see what's happening? Yeah, but she said that they do this like when they're on good terms. Oh, but sometimes they fight and you have to separate them. Because she wants food. Okay, so let's feed them. Let's give them food. All right, let's put them in the cage. You get the food. The food is there. Oh, it is. Good bird. Good bird.
Oh, they love pistachios. Did we get any pistachios in there? Okay, here's what I think. She said they fight occasionally and need to be separated. I think I might be able to fix that by putting an extra food bowl in their cage so that they kind of feel like they have their own section. I think that's gonna help a lot. Monkey, Nelly, pistachio. Monkey, Does he not know how to break it? Who knows? Yeah. He took a piece off the middle. He didn't actually take it though. Pistachio baby? Oh yeah, uh... she's a smart one. She knows. She knows it, but... Maybe okay. he needs it open. <laughs> Maybe so. No, there's a chance they need it open. There you go. Okay, that was it. I told you. Okay. She found something interesting in there. What is that? Oh, maybe. She went for the pistachio. <laughs> She's like, never mind pistachio. Alright, so they should rest now. They had a long day. What about all the stuff that goes in their cages? Maybe at least the other perches? They might have need to sleep on their own thing. I mean, I guess the only thing is, if he wants to eat, she's in his way. That's why I think someone needs a stand to go back and chill. Alright, well, let me see what I can do. Yeah. So, the dilemma is that everything's drying and our washer takes a long time. We want it to be thoroughly cleaned. But some birds, like, are really particular about what they sleep on. And they love stands in the opposite way. Imagine there's one long stick, like what they have. Some birds like that to go then perpendicular. What's going on? Do you... Do you miss George? Now his first scream happened when George left the room. So there's a chance that he's already feeling better with George around. She is responding to him screaming. Wait, I think, I think he screamed because you left the room. I'm right back. Okay, I need you to help me. Look how cute they are looking at you. Is that gonna like create potty on this stick? No, not really. I mean, we just got it super clean, you know? No, and also, can he walk by it to get to his water? I don't think that's right. They're not gonna feel good walking under that. No? No. Look at him, he's already, look at his body language. Oh, put it the other way. No, 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 the other wall. Here? Yes. I don't like this. No, no, but they do. That's how Cody and Leo sleep. This is how Cody and Leo's cage is set up. Okay, guys, so <laughs> you wanna make sure that they have enough space here for their tail to walk. And if it was going the other way, it would scare their head as they're walking by. Oh, you have another one there? Hi, handsome and pretty. Do they cuddle with each other? I don't know. They like bananas, though, so tomorrow we'll give them some banana. Oh, we happen to have a lot of those. Yep, he went up there. I knew it. They need that spot. Here's a real tester if they'll come to me from out inside the cage. Will you step up? Aww, wow, that's amazing. Hi. Hello. Did they get covered? She didn't say anything, but I'd like to practice them getting covered because these guys are loud. Not with that. I mean, just for today. Okay. Uh, that doesn't cover them at all. No. <laughs> it doesn't cover them at all. <laughs> it's enough. <laughs> now, this room's gonna be dark. Okay. And you can't turn the light on. Hi, babe. Good night, guys. I need more light, George. A little more. Okay. Uh, George won't let me have light because of the lizards and the birds going to bed. But anyway, I just want to thank you guys for watching this episode trying to make it slowly good night i'm okay guys i love you bye <laughs>